dan il programma gli idruci prodotti commerciali. Let's do it! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Thursday. It's 9.50, roughly. Welcome once again to the Thursday Night Project. Oh, yes. As you probably know, each week we get your favourite and Malta's biggest artists. We invite them to our luxury beach club and we force them to be our friends. Don't we, Trudy? We do, Paul, and I'll tell you how we're going to do that. We're going to ask them questions in depth. We're going to throw some quick-fire questions at them and also give them the opportunity to test just how good my research is with Trudy's profile. We will. We'll also be taking a look at our guest's latest video content. We'll play that for you shortly. And I'll be putting Trudy in one corner and our guest in the other corner as they battle it out over the epic intros round. Oh, joy, and I'm looking forward to that. But first of all, let's get the show underway. And tonight we have a fabulous guest for you. Tonight we we have DJ Joseph Amani. Come on! Joseph, hi. Thanks for the show, man. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Thanks for you. having me. Please. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. Um, so first up, welcome. How has your day been oh. today? Good? Bad? Don't even start. No? <laughs> Bad? <laughs> it was okay. it's like normal. Okay, you know? okay. A normal day, but my day is so full that I when it's uh, this time of, of day, you know, the, the night, I don't want to, like, remember. Can no, I just that's say, fine. Can I just say thanks for squeezing us in your yeah. busy day, then? It's I my pleasure. Perfect. I feel honoured. Ah, it's you know? my pleasure. You don't have <laughs> We'll to. have to go and watch him play now at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn it. See if I can fit it in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the show. Um, we're going to play your latest video release a little bit later, and we're going to get to know you a bit more, and we're going to play some games. But first up is Trudy's Profile. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you how this works. Mm. I've gone away, I've done some research on you. Mm. I'm going to read that research to you and you can tell me whether I get it right or wrong or not. Does and that please sound good? Say, if, you get it, if, if there's anything wrong, please say. You ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do okay. It. Joseph Armani was actually born in Venice, Italy in 1980. Mm -hmm. Though brought up in Malta. As a youngster, Joseph was a singer and dancer and won the Junior Festival. Mm. Joseph tried his hand at ballet mm -hmm. and modeling, but as he grew up, he decided that his calling was to be a DJ. At just 14, he took his first DJing course and shortly after got his first residency in Malta. Mm -hmm. Joseph rece she's released. Good. She's all right, yeah, <laughs> she's quite good. Joseph released his first single when he was 20 called Ride Me. Mm. Really? Yes. This played a huge <laughs> role in revolu revolutionising the music industry in Malta as this was the first EDM track with Maltese language used in the vocals. I'll mm. be asking you about that later. Joseph went on to go to the Red Bull Music Academy in 2001 and subsequently started playing all over Europe with residencies with the likes of Paul Van Dyke. In 2005, Joseph passed the track Infatuation to David Guetta and the track was played co constantly by, uh, by Guetta until other DJs started requesting the track too. Baguetta. <laughs> ba 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 <laughs> Getter then released the track, followed by <laughs> Ingrosso, uh, released a version of the track too. That means I can't pronounce the name. It wasn't long before Joseph's record was being played all over Europe by all the top DJs. Since then, Joseph has headlined all over the world in some of the top clubs and festivals, including Russia, Japan, North and South America. He is also regarded as one of the pioneers of Wet and Hard. Oh my God. Oh, wet and Hard. How did I do? How did I do? I, I feel like I had a little bird always running after me since I was a, since I was a little boy. And this was you and you know all, of, all about uh, me. She's been, she's been <laughs> stalking you, is what she's been doing. I am the resident stalker of Malta. So, is this, there was nothing wrong? 
No, she, she, she got it right. Round of applause for Trudy. It's the first time. It's a f well done, dearest. It's the first time. No? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> fantastic. What happened to the ballet? Where did that go? Uh, so you're going to tell me now you chose not to continue doing it. Uh, no. Okay. It's like I was seven or eight and I was enjoying myself. But then, you know, like growing up, 10, 11, you know, the, your friends at school. The still, music was more attractive to you. Do you still dance around the house? Do you still know any of the moves? Uh, at home, yes. Can you show us? Some? No. No. <laughs> you know, because when I started DJing then, I just uh, took a note and I said, now I just make people dance. No more ballet. I don't dance. Fair I just enough. make people dance. It does that mean, I mean, you're not a bad dancer. You can't be. You've done ballet. Mm. So there's mm. no behind the DJ desk doing a little pirouette or anything. <laughs> if I have a couple of drinks, extra <laughs> drinks. Ah, <laughs> we'll see how this show Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> extra I'm drinks. To see that. Exactly. Um, so your mm. new single mm. is out. Um, tell us about it briefly. Um, it's, it's, this is a fabulous project I've been working on together with, uh, um, with a singer from, from uh, Sweden, from mm. Stockholm. Mm. We released a track earlier this year, it was, it's called uh, Endless Flame, it was yep. a big, big success. It was out on, I can't even remember how many compilations, it was played in Italy uh, like for five, six weeks constantly on uh, top radio stations. Great, great. It was released on, um, on the most selling album wow. in Italy. It's called Hitmania, which uh, this, this album is one of the few albums still selling like physical, not really, not digital. digital you know, How we're talking about like uh, 250,000 physical we're CDs. We're talking about actual CDs. You know, people still buy yeah, actual yeah. CDs. It, Italy, Italy's market is is uh, is a bit uh, strange. You know, they are, they are, they are very very um, proud and and like they. The, the piracy in Italy is very um, strict. Strict, yes, mm. yes, yes, like yes. It's called Endless Flame. Yes. And we and yes, that's Endless Flame. Uh, so what we've got, what we've got is your latest video release, which is you performing Endless Flame. Endless Flame and Dreamers Unite. At absolutely sorry, Endless Flame, Dreamers Unite at Isle of MTV exactly. here in Malta. We've exactly. got that for you right now. We'll be back <coughs> shortly with the intros round.
Makeup Factory. Cosmetics for women who want professional results. The perfect makeup is an art. An art that makes a beautiful face even more beautiful, more expressive, and more captivating. Makeup Factory is the art of perfect makeup. Makeup Factory. Brought to you by Diane Nikolic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Thursday Night Project. And now to my personal favourite, it is the intros round. Isn't that right, Paul? It is indeed, Trudy. You always get slightly nervous, don't you? But I'm rubbish at this. You're getting better. <laughs> you know, it's OK. Just listen to my music. Joseph, love the video. Well, love the, the performance at uh, Isle Thank of MTV. You. Really great. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. But how's your music knowledge? I'm quite OK. We're looking at 2001. Which, if I'm right, was when you were working with Red, the Red Bull? No, Tell us when, when I moved to Berlin and, and I went to the Red Bull Music Academy. Yeah. Fantastic. OK, so I've got six songs from 2001. <laughs> it's Joseph Armani versus Trudy Kerr. Be okay. nice to me. Be nice to me. Are you ready best. for track number one? Go on, then. Obviously, track number one isn't working. <laughs> it was a trick track. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, good. Are you ready for track number one? Mm. Well, right. <laughs> you know what it is? Shout it out as soon as you know it. Um, this is Shaggy. It is Shaggy, Shaggy. with. Um, uh, I know this one. I so know. I can hear it. Apparently, it wasn't him. Uh, uh. It wasn't him. Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't me. It wasn't yes. Me. It wasn't oh, me. It wasn't me. I, I think you got time? it, Trudy. I think you got it. One point to Trudy. Zero points to Joseph. That's never ever happened. I know, on the show I know. Before. Who knows? You might win. I doubt it. Yeah. Um, okay. Track number two. Remember, tw two thousand and one. It was one of my favourites. This track from that year. Touch me. Yes, by Ruda Silva. Ruda Silva. I Ooh. stood no chance. Nailed it. One all. Well done. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Trudy. It's one all. It's one of my favourites of all time. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's one of my favourites as well. Didn't See? stand any See? chance. Great minds. <laughs> uh, so, OK, so track number three. Remember, again, it's 2001. Slightly different genre of music on this one. Oh, yeah. Keep on rolling, baby. Yeah, yeah. OK. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Um, not Limp Bizkit. Uh, Limp Bizkit. Not Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit, yeah? Limp Bizkit and yeah, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Yeah, Nailed yeah, yeah. it. How is it I don't even know that it's track? It's 2-1. I'm a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, you, I do have an excuse for being quite rubbish at this game. Okay, are you ready for track number four? This one goes out to Trudy. Okay. Soul Sister. Mm. Oh, this is... Uh, uh, um, it's a remake. <laughs> what, uh, Moulin Rouge, yeah. From it's from the film Moulin, Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Oh, oh, is it? It's um, it's marmalade. Agu Aguilera, it's yes, marmalade. yeah, Lady Marmalade, Lady Marmalade, Marmalade. Lady Marmalade. Um, Aguilera and honey on toast and <laughs> the girls. Aguilera was, and the girls. That was Bovril on toast. No. <laughs> uh, Lady Marmalade. You got the track right, but you got the artist right. Half a point each. Okay. No arguing. <laughs> Judge's decision is final. <laughs> track number four for you. This one might be difficult to get. This was huge uh, in the UK. It came over here as well. And there's about 45 members of their band. Okay, most of them rappers. Are they all under five years old? Uh, some of them are. There's a full range. Are you serious? They're from London Town. You got it? I, I have, have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> Wait for it to kick in. No, no. I, I, I'm so glad. No, I'm giving up, giving up. I'm giving allowed up. to not know that because. So solid crew, 21 seconds. But you are, you are very, very. Um, uh, Genius? Hard. No, no. Oh. It, it was hard, this one. This okay. one was hard. They can't, be all, you're can't all be easy, Joseph. You know, they can't all be easy. One more song left. This is where you can either get it or not. 
I'm going to make a prediction that you should both know this one. Mm -hmm. 2001. Enter the dragon. Is it called Enter the Dragon? No, it's not called Enter it's, the Dragon. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, what's his name? I met him once, this guy. Do you like it? Do you really like it? Do you really like it? Which like you said it. first. Who's it by? Tom Jones. No, well, not Tom Jones. Do you really like it is enough. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need they to play anymore, do we? Uh, DJ Pied Piper and yeah. the Masters of Ceremonies with Do You Really Like It? I've never is even it, heard is it, no, it. It was very big, this track. It was very big. Very big. So that is the end of the intros round, guys. In the, but I won. in the one corner, Joseph Armani has two and a half points. Thank in the you. other corner, Trudy, you have one point. Yay. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. It wasn't one and a half. I don't, I'm scoring here. I, okay. It was one point. I think there's a conspiracy theory no, here. I, I promise you. How, how can I have a half a point? And you because got Trudy got the artist and you got the song title. Don't exactly, argue with that's the judge. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the intros round. But now we're going to get to know Joseph a little bit better with the quick fire round. Absolutely. So here we go. I'm going to throw some questions at you quickly, and you're just going to tell me a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. What's your rider? Um, uh, technically, or no, 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 no. What do you just like to have on stage? Mm. I uh, drinks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's, it's it's important that I have drinks. When you aren't gigging, writing music or working, what's your favorite way to unwind? Watching TV series. Any particular one? I love Grey's Anatomy. Really? I am yeah? Grey's Anatomy's biggest fan, I think. I That's totally a surprise. didn't expect that from you. No, no I mean, even sorry. my wife, the, the, she, she, she that cannot understand how much I love Grey's Anatomy. And it's great, great TV. <laughs> uh, what did you want to be when you were young? Uh, a lawyer. Okay. Um, fav favorite destination you visited? Um, I've been around the world, but I can't say craziest maybe okay. destinies. once I was in in Siberia which uh, it's part of Russia and it was it was quite amazing cool place you'd most like to go Australia fabulous uh, if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be Miami Ooh, nice good answer uh, biggest influence in your career my mom nice Sweet. nice Hi, your mom um, favorite band or artist? I have so many. Pick okay. one. Just one. Yeah, anyone. I you won't offend anyone, really. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll let you pass on that one. Just one thing from your bucket list. One thing from my bucket list. What I have, to, I still have to do. Yep. I want to retire at the age of forty. Nice. nice. And last question: Who would you most like to have a pint with, dead or alive? Them, not you. Obama. Wow. Right. Wow. I wonder if he drinks. What would you ask him? I would give him some tips. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the quick fire round. Indeed, it is. We'll be back very shortly, getting to know Joseph a little bit more in the epic in depth round. We'll see you then. with berry flavour. Pero 
Ora li sbaħħġa jgħid il-gigabajti fori swa biz 99 euro. Aku istaħ il-lu min ħanu t-tarietta t-fon ġewa l-ħamru. U tina taw cover jow memory card b-xejn. Tinsix, 99 euro biz. U tina taw cover jow memory card b-xejn. Minna t-tarietta t-fon. Il-port il-gbi. Bil-ħamsin anniversari u tal-independenza. L-ikbar spettaklu li għatsa. Nistidna tal-unur Cage Middleton, edukessa ta' Cambridge. U 20 settembru, t-sabba ta' falaxija, iċxat tal-bent. Kulħat nistidna. Il-sept, u 20 settembru, f-sabba ta' falaxija. Konem. Jien, int, aħna maldin. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Thursday Night Project with our guest, Joseph Armani. Oh, how fab to have you on the show. Listen, we've got a chance to get to know you a little bit better. I'm dying to ask you, with all of those amazing gigs, venues, and anti-social hours, do you ever get fed up with DJing? Do you ever just kind of say, I'd like to become a lawyer, like you said, and, mm. and do something a little bit more normal? I love my job. Right. But there were many, not just single instance, many instance when, where I really wanted to be someone else. Have you almost done it? Have you almost walked away before? Is um, there another moment? I'm going to be honest. These last two, three years, I've been working on it. Because, you know, my, I have a, a fantastic job. All the kids, all the youngsters, like, look at me and say, oh, I want to be this, I want to, I want sure, to, sure. I want to have your life. Nice. But, but they don't really know How what it takes work. to be me, you know? I, 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 I have a family now, yes. you know? And I... I love my son so much that, for example, in summer, I go to work at night, go, go home at about 5, 5.30 mm -hmm. in the morning, and at 9 I have to take him to, to, to the beach. Yeah. I do it because I love my son and, and because I, I, it's not fair on him, mm -hmm. you know? Sure. And my wife as well. So in these moments, when, when these moments come, I say I really wish I was a lawyer. Mm. Mm. You know, and that's, but, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. On the other the hand, family. on the other hand, I don't regret a single moment because I've had a fantastic life. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> and so. you've gotten to travel the world. Yes, I guess work yes. has taken you everywhere. You mentioned before some of the places that you've been mm. to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's just a real wish like list. The, from between two, 2000 and 2009, 2008, I pr practically went all over you know I haven't visited Australia mm. I Which had is a great to. place by the way I had to, to in 2011 but I was sick I I missed my flight oh, because no. oh, no. and Australia is so far away that I, I couldn't catch the next one no, because exactly. the gig was was exactly as uh, when when uh, when I arrived so uh, but I'll go. I'll go to Australia yeah. with my family, just to relax, you know. Pl plenty of life left. Yes. Plenty of time left. Yes, yes. If it's okay, I'd like to bring it back again to, to mm. the music, mm -hmm. if that's okay. Um, latest single, when you were on our radio show uh, a few weeks ago now, uh, mm. just over a month mm. ago, you mentioned to us that you feel like it's, it's the best thing you've done. Yeah, let me tell you uh, something about us musicians, producers. Sure. The last one is always, is always the, best. the best. Of course, <laughs> it should be that way. Um, and the way we listen to our music is different than, different than the way you listen to it or mm. anyone else listens to it. I know exactly every single element yeah. what's in the track. So I appreciate listening to this track, to, to every single track of mine, more than, than the public. You sure. Know? But for me to have a judgment about my, one of my productions, if it's good or not, I need people like you. Mm. Because, you know, when I listen to a track of mine, I 
you know, when you listen to something, you just imagine. Mm, sure. And my picture is like the, the logic program open. So you see all the editing. And I see, and I see all the elements, you know. This, wow. this is how I, I hear, I listen to my music. Wow. You know? So, and the last one is always your baby. Then the next one, obviously, the, from the first track that I produce till this one, there is a huge improvement. You know, so every every single track that I do, um, I all I, I learn. I sure, learn every sure. time. So every time there's something which I've done new. You know, so so that's why it's. We had Era on the show a couple of months ago, and I, I asked show. her. I said to her, "Do you ever put out a track that it, that you don't necessarily wholeheartedly believe in, but mm. it's commercially viable. It, do you ever have that temptation? Yes. You kind of go, well, this is the music that's out at the moment. Maybe I should do something a bit like that. No, mm. I, I tell you one, one, one um, like curious thing. This track that you mentioned, the fatuation earlier, mm. I, I literally hated the track. When you, when you first when made it? When I made it, wow. the, the morning after, I said, this goes into the trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> and then m one of my friends in Berlin came over and he used to like fiddle around on my computer and he just listened to it and said, wow, what is this? And I said, what would I say? Have you spun <laughs> something, you know? <laughs> uh, and he said, no, 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 this is, this is amazing. And he said, no. He burned it on CD mm. and we went out that night and he gave it to the DJ to a DJ, this is before David Guetta, sure. we were in Berlin. And the DJ played it and I saw the, the crowd go Fantastic. You know? So that's how I started believing in it. So you were like, maybe it is okay. If it was, if it was for me, I would have put it in the trash bin. Mm. So did you buy him a bunch of beers as a thank you? <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? My career is all down to you, thank you so much. No, no, we're still friends. Good, good, still good, friends. good, 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 good. Did you give him a cut of the profits or? <laughs> That's my business. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story now for you? You've got this epic track out. We, I mean, as Paul said, we're loving it. We're playing it all the time. What comes next? I am, you, I you're am, talking about maybe winding down a little bit or no, just um, changing the way that you're... I'm going to wind down a, a little bit from performing, but I'm going to still do music forever, I think, you know, till, till my hands can move, you know. But um, as regarding to this track, um, there's I have very good offers at the moment but I'm I believe in it so much that I'm waiting for the right one right sure Fantastic. because you know this is a track that um, shouldn't be go to waste you know mm. so I cannot risk with this track that's right? an awesome opportunity to, to take and, to, and a position to be in is that you've got this amazing track that you believe in so much you're just gonna wait for, yeah, for yeah, everything yeah. Yeah. To because come it's, to it's, you. it's simply in my opinion, obviously I'm being biased because it's mine, but in my opinion, it's simply amazing. Oh, well, and we, the, the we've vocals, loved it. the vocals, and the singing is, is impeccable. You know? uh. So I just can. I can't wait. I can't wait until the right person, the right label comes. Definitely. So I, I've got to ask you, what makes a good track? What is, if you could say just one or two things that makes an absolutely epic track? What would that be? It's. Uh, in our words, it's like the whole package, you right. know, the theme, the, the, the music, the vocals, the, the singer, you know, mm. the whole package needs to be like complete. Mm. Mm. Great stuff and maybe a little bit wet and hard. <laughs> Joseph, thank you for coming in to the studio. Thanks for having me. No, you're a busy man, so thank you for taking time out to it's come and see us. It's always gorgeous to see you. It was a pleasure. It's always been gorgeous great. to see you. So it's our penultimate show here at the Thursday Night Project. Last, next week is our last show, Trudy. It most certainly is, and we're going to finish with a really good bunch of guests. Next week we have airport impressions. We do indeed. So you can catch us again next week. Guess when? That's right, Thursday. Or if you want to, you can go onto Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash the Project Malta. Get in touch with us there or just go and have a look at some of the shows that we've had before. Do that. If you can't find us, type the Thursday Night Project. I'm sure you'll find it that way. You can catch Trudy and I again tomorrow on One Radio at 6.15. But apart from that, we'll be back next Thursday. See you later. Good night.